Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare geometry for slot connection. In my last video tutorial you have learned that if you would like to work with this mechanism it's the possibility to use keyframe sequence and we have specified the some snapshots and we have created animation. In today's video tutorials, I'd like to show you how to work with slot connection and how to move object based on the curve. But what we missed on this model is trajectory line. So we can start and I'd like to open my 3D model and you can see here that I have specified some colors here. So it's not problem. You can remove all clear, all appearances and system will set the default color. I'd like to show you how the system work because we would like to use the combination of solid modeling and surface modeling. Okay, so my 3D model includes some base geometry and for example we can create a base surface. If you select extrude feature and I'd like to start with surface modeling, you can see here that it's possible to select the sketch plane and start your sketch. For example, we would like to use the concentric circle and I'd like to use the concentric with this base geometry. You can see the system will create for me the circles in same dimension as is this object. But I don't want to use the whole circle, I'd like to use only a part of the circle. So you can specify the references, for example that point and this curve or that point and if I spin into 3D from 3D to 2D in the sketch view you can see here that I have a point here and here on based on these references it's possible to use a delete segment and I like to delete two segments and you can see the system create for me only part of the curve and if I will finish it the system will create for me the surface, what I need. Over here, it's the possible to specify the dimension. You can use the symmetry and system will create symmetrical surface on both sides. Or you can use the to select it and you can specify some references. For example, on one side and over here, it's the possible to specify the second side. So this is a base modeling for first surface what we need and on that surface yeah how i know that is a surface because it's a different color here you can see the standard model has a standard color and the surface model created by extrude feature is a bit different color so recognition of surface is really easy with creo 4.0 okay what we need to do is here create the trajectory curve for a slot connection what we can do is, for example, create or, or project the curve. We can project existing curve, yeah, or from project the chain function, or I'd like to use the project the sketch because my 3D model doesn't include some sketch geometry. I will create sketch, sketch by here, and my sketch plane will be this one, and I like this orientation so we can come from it. In the sketch, I like to reuse some base mirror references so you can add some information here or you can add some another references for a sketch. It's up to you what we use. So add some references or you can use the Alt key and system will automatically snap to select the geometry. You know it from my previous tutorial for sketch modeling. So. We can follow and create a curve here and for example I'd like to create a line here yeah so the shape will be looks like here some center line for mirror feature and over here I will apply the fillet you can specify dimension you can see here that it's possible to move it dragger or you can specify your custom one. 
Yeah, so it's up to you what number you, you will use and what design you will get. You can create curve or you can use the offset function. Okay, my geometry is ready and I like to mirror it uh, around the center line. And if I will confirm, the system will ask me, you can see here, that on which surface you would like to project the curve. Over here, it's the surface and I'd like to go the direct along direction and it will be perpendicular to this top surface here. And here you can see that right now I created the curve what we need for our slider. Here's a question. If I will hide this surface, it maybe we don't want to use the whole curve. I'd like to show you more how to work with surface modeling. So here will be another example how to prepare the cutting points for trim function. Yeah, so let's start. At the first, I'd like to create a datum plane. But this datum plane need to axis. Yeah, so I like to use the axis and offset reference, for example, from that surface. So the system will create for me the necessary surf the necessary datum plane. And you can specify the angle again and confirm OK. And that new datum plane will be reused for points for cutting or using a trim function. So first point will be placed on that curve. Yeah, you can use the right mouse button and system will select whole curve. And if you confirm with control button, the system will create intersection and points will be placed by on the curve and intersected by new datum plane. A new point will be placed again, right mouse button, confirm left and with control button, the system will use the intersection. For what is it good? If I will right now the switch of visibility of points if you don't want to see or if you cannot see the name of the points go to the view tab and over there is the function show or hide the tag displays yeah so you can show or hide the names for the points if i will move with my datum plane yeah so i will use on edit you can see that's the point will be moved directly around the curve and you can specify the angles and everything here. Yeah. I will specify this dimension, it's, it's good. Okay. And here is the question, if it is possible to merge or create a group of these objects, because maybe you would like to see only information for the points, so you can select and drag datum plane into points and the system will create in the model tree the group. It means that point was created based on the datum. And if you select right now edit, you can see all the information for modification of the placement datum plane. Okay, let's continue with trim function. What we would like to trim, we would like to trim this curve and I like to trim yeah, you can use this icon directly here. You can use the right mouse button and customize and you can add your custom icons or I'd like to use the icon directly from the ribbon. The system asks me select the trimming point. OK, I like to use this point and default color for Creo means the blue one, which one will be cut. So I would like to confirm and you can see that system will create nice curve for me. And again, I like to use the curve, the trim function and trimming point. I don't want to cut this blue line, go opposite direction and this one is okay. So right now I create my first curve necessary for our objects. Yep. So you can see here that we can reuse this curve 
for slot connection. How to create a slot connection? I'll show you in next video tutorial. Stay tuned. Thanks. Bye bye. Vladimir.